This is a video demonstration of the Anglerfish HDMI bulkhead. We make these bulkheads in different forms. Uh, this, this one in particular is our standard bulkhead assembly. And it consists of the bulkhead connector, which threads onto your housing port, an HDMI cable, and a micro HDMI connector. For the custom version of this particular bulkhead, the customer can select an angled HDMI uh, connector that is micro, mini, or standard HDMI. For housings where the uh, port hole is quite small and the angled connector cannot fit inside that hole, we use a micro HDMI a straight micro HDMI connector with an angled adapter. This angled ad adapter allows us to get the micro HDMI into an angled configuration, just like this. That can basically go to your camera. To provide a rigid support for this connector, we have these particular stiffener plates. And these stiffener plates work in conjunction with the type of angled connectors that you have purchased. To use this particular version, you have to line up the adapter to the insertion hole, just like this, and insert the adapter into the stiffener. You don't want to uh, use any sharp objects or anything that could damage the PCB board. You always want to use your fingers. So once you, once you slide the uh, adapter into the stiffener, you can pull it on this side using your fingers. Never use any tools to shove the adapter into the stiffener. There's a bit of wiggle room inside there, which allows you to line up the micro female HDMI connector with the male micro HDMI connector at the end of the bulkhead cable. You have to look through this opening here to see that the orientation of the connector, you wanna line those two so that when you're inserting the uh, connector into the assembly, it's, uh, it's going to mate properly. You wanna do this really gently because these connectors are quite gentle and, and you don't wanna damage them. So the first thing you do is you insert it partially in and you look through this opening here to make sure that the connectors are lining up properly. You may have to wiggle a little bit to get them to line up, but once they're lined up, they will mate and click in place. And now this is a very secure connection to the camera. It's almost as if these two connectors are just one assembly. There's no distinction between this and a, a customized uh, angled HDMI connector. And the reason we use this sort of setup is because this assembly or an angled HDMI connector may not fit inside the, the hole of the housing that the HDMI uh, bulkhead is gonna be screwed into. The other thing is this actually allows you to uh, have a very, very ability to connect to various different cameras and various different housing. So this is kind of a universal setup. To remove the assembly, all you do is just 
pull the two halves apart. We also have this type of a angled connector. And that, what this allows you to do is to get a really low profile connection to the camera inside housings where they don't have enough room for this type of connection. You can see how, pro, how low profile this is. A lot of the housings, especially Aquatica housings and uh, some of the European style housings were not designed to accommodate an HDMI cable. So they may not have room um, where the HDMI connector has to mate with the camera. So this kind of a adapter makes it perfect to, uh, to utilize this bulkhead with those housings. This particular adapter also comes with its own stiffener plate. Once the two stiffener plates are separated, all you do is insert the uh, adapter into its place, clicks into place. You connect the, the cable connector with the adapter that clicks into place. And then you can put the second half of the uh, stiffener together and that clicks into place. And now this is a secure connection between the bulkhead cable and the camera. This essentially becomes one assembly and uh, there's no way for the cable to bend this way, bend down or in any direction. It's a totally secure contact. In housings where it's extremely difficult to get these sort of adapters in place, we also have very low profile ribbon cables that provide connection to the camera. Now these ribbon cables are uh, quite fragile, so uh, they, they may need to be replaced often if they are pulled on or, or there's some sort of a damage that's caused by uh, misuse. However, they are very cheap and they can be replaced very quickly. Uh, when you receive the, uh, when you receive uh, the, the monitor itself, it may come with a package of these and they're not assembled. I will just demonstrate the assembly of this type of connector. The first thing you want to do is the, this type of connector has two prongs that you want to pull apart and then insert the ribbon cable. You don't want to use any tools and you don't want to pull on these things too aggressively. Otherwise you may damage the connector. This is a very delicate connector. So you just use your fingers and push those two tabs out like this. And you can see here, I will push it back in so you can see. And then try to open. Yeah, there you go. You see now it's out. The way you want to insert the ribbon cable, there's a silver side and there's a black side. It's always the silver side up this way. Once this is inserted, you can feel it go in just like that. Once it's in, you can secure the connection by pushing in these two tabs like this simultaneously. I will demonstrate by 
removing this connector here and put it putting it back on one end is always a female micro HDMI connector to go to the bulkhead cable just like that and the other end can be any type of connector. There's essentially six different types of these connectors. And they're all supplied in the package. <laughs> 